The Islamic holy month of Ramadan began about a fortnight ago. For Muslims around the world, it is a time for spiritual reflection and abstinence from food and water from sunrise to sunset. This year, the high cost of living crisis which is being intensified by several factors globally leading to the sharp food price hikes is having a toll on Muslims observing this holy month. Haruna Bawa tells me the situation is affecting many, especially the needy. The prices of goods are high compared to the same period last year. We used to buy a lot and share with the needy, but this year we can't do the same because of the high cost of living. He believes that the situation is as a result of the high cost of fuel prices at the pumps. The high cost of fuel is worrying. If we take a look at the amount we spend at the pumps, when we are to convey items at a cost of 10,000 Ghana cities, almost everything is spent on fuel. So fuel price hikes is why we are suffering today. For many in the Muslim community, it is already a tough month for them as the poor who struggle to make ends meet find it difficult to provide enough food for their families to break their fast weight. People already hungry will be observing their religious duty during the day but won't have enough to replenish themselves in the evenings. Cindy Chaban says this year's Ramadan is synonymous to dry fasting. When you fast, the most exciting thing is when you hear it's time to break your fast. Because there are different kinds of fruits. You are not buying it. You are getting it for free. Enjoy it. So you, you always get excited. But this year, it seems like we are doing dry fasting. Because the fruits, they are scarce. When you get them, they are expensive. So it makes the fasting somehow dull. Haji Arabi has been selling house of cocoa for the past seven years. She says the rising cost of sugar and other items has led to a 100% increment in the price of the commodity. Sugar is costly today and same applies to millet. So the price of cocoa has been increased too. Now we only sell at one CD instead of 50 pesos. People selling fruits are not left out of these difficulties. They claim the high cost of living has impacted their sales negatively. Everything is expensive now. Our fruits are not bought as expected. People really want to buy, but because they don't have money, they can't buy. Whilst others are optimistic that the situation would improve going forward, Man John has lost faith entirely. Things have worsened of this year, honestly. Really can even feel this. At first, I have lost hope. For these people we've been engaging, their sole hope is that authorities would institute measures capable of easing their hardships. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.